Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and uh, we're back at our farm cave here, uh, way out east. Um, and so we're going to run in and check the gold chest uh, and the silver chest, actually, while we're here. And then um, we'll go back to the base. We, we can now make the iron um, pickaxe. But for some reason, we can't make the axe yet. I don't know why uh, that is. But we'll start with the pickaxe anyways. I have um, several uh, things of iron already being made up. Oh, man, that's disappointing. All right, well, more runes. We'll try again next time. Uh, let's run over and hit the silver chest. And we'll loot some of this stuff along the way, too. I've also unlocked uh, several other items, which I'll show you when we get back to the base, you know, just by picking up things like lapis and, um, you know, the desert flowers and all the other things that have created those unlocks for us. So let's grab all of that stuff. We'll grab the shrooms. I'll leave the iron for another time. Don't think there was anything in there. Um, there's something in here. Let's grab that. Something to loot up here. Alright, we do have that explosion bug down here that we'll have to deal with. I wonder if we could preempt. Probably not, because... Uh, well... No, that's just damage on the terrain. Should pop up here in a second. There we go. What about the exploder bug? He's the one I'm worried about. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> there we go. He can do quite a bit of damage. That guy can. Spellbinder chest. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Let's pick those two things up. Uh, character. This is a level 23, um, and it just gives us protection and a whole bunch of health. Don't, um, yeah, I don't think I want that. Uh, not the health sucks, but uh, we don't want to give up our, our wizardy stuff there. Okay, let's head on back home. I already uh, did my little requisite stop off at the Hill of Scavengers and grab those t two elixirs. We've done that enough times on camera. You don't need to see me do that again. <laughs> uh, but I do it every time I log in, you know, to get extra lectures. Uh, nope. Don't do that. Okay, I planted some of the grapple plant. Uh, so it's currently working on seeds in there. So we can start remaking that. In here, I've got iron cooking up. Uh, in fact, we have our first stack of iron. And that just unlocked the iron block. And let's see, you're going to want hardwood to make the iron pickaxe. Break a leg. Break a leg, he says. Let's grab some hardwood out of here. Uh, nope, wrong chest. There we go. I'm glad I can get the pickaxe because I'd rather have that first before the iron axe anyway. Boom, there we go. Um, oh, now it's unlocked. I guess maybe we have to make the pickaxe first. Could be. Okay, so we need more iron bars and linen for that. But look at this, iron pickaxe. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. All right, nice. Uh, let's see. This we don't really want. I, I, I don't know. There's something about, like, deleting this high-end stuff that I just don't like doing, even though I know I'm probably never, ever going to wear it. Never, ever. Maybe. Who knows? Um, okay, so let me get a couple things put away, and then I want to show you a few more things that we've unlocked. Okay, so it looks like we got another 10 iron bars there. He's going to want some hardwood again that I put away and I should have kept. And I think he said he wanted linen as well for the axe. Yep. 
There we go. Iron axe. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Um, we'll put that over there. And we'll retire the bronze axe. Okay, let's see. Do you have anything new for us? Um, yep, okay. Nice. We got the huge chest. All right. That's huge. <laughs> uh, so we're going to need to make a bunch of metal sheets. We're going to need nails and wood planks. And um, the plan is to make a bunch of these and... We're going to start lining them up on this inside wall. And we need to also, though, um, I, I want them to be magic chests too. So what? maybe what we'll do, I made some glass, didn't I? Oh, geez, I thought I made some glass. What happened there? Sand and charcoal. Hmm. I could have sworn I made some glass. I guess I did not, though. Okay, so let's grab um, about 30 of you. No, let's grab 60. Sand. And whilst we're here, we'll put you back. Put you in there, and you can go in there. And we'll retire our bronze axe. This is a good this is good timing actually because I'm really starting to run out of space with the the current chests here. Uh, so it's nice to start getting those big chests. Okay, so we need to put sand in there and we already have charcoal. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I was going to do that and then I decided that I wanted to make the iron first to get the tools. That's what happened. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for that glass to cook up. Because then what we want to do is we want to make the, uh, what's it called? The Athenor, which will requ uh, require tin glass. I think we have all the rest of that. And then we can make the Laboratory, which will require 40 fired brick and some more copper bars. I think we have, I don't think we're going to have 40 fired brick. We have 25 in there. What, we need more clay. Yeah, I might have to go farm up some clay real quick. Um, we have 14 here. So let's throw that in there at least. And we'll see what we come up with. Okay, we should probably... Uh, yeah, we should probably put a little more wood in there. And I might actually have some building building blocks. Oh, I do. Not, not a lot, though. We got eight. So that can contribute to the cause. Let's put these up here. And we're going to grab some more wood. Um, let's split that stack into about... Oh, okay, 59. Sure, why not? Thereabouts. And we want to put that in here. So I think this is, um, yeah, this is just a one-to-one. -one, so th that's going to get us another 12. Um, so more than likely, I'm going to have to go uh, farm up some clay. Okay, so let's see. What I wanted to show you is we've unlocked several more spells. We have Eternal Acid Bite, Eternal Light Burst, but now we have Eternal Heal Channel, which does 43 healing instead of the 17, which the wimpy ones hasn't been cutting it for us. So we definitely want to get this made. Um, and we also have um, Eternal... Yeah, I, I think that's the main one. We, uh, we haven't unlocked Eternal Lightning yet, which hopefully we will at some point. This would be worth making, too. Uh, definitely would be worth making, because this does 165 damage. It does have a three-second cast time, though. That is a long cast time. But 165 damage versus 84, so it's got about twice the damage for one and a half times the cast time. Um, but, you know, also twice the mana cost, too, but that's kind of to be expected. But... I want this first, the uh, chain, eternal chain, no, eternal heal channel, yeah. That one's more important, so we're going to have to 
We might. We're, we don't have 50 lapis. We're definitely going to have to farm some lapis, but we might have that other stuff. Um, For the chamomile tea. Let's see what Emily needs for that. That's going to be under uh, endurance, probably. Yeah. So that's just a one-to-one. -one. Good luck. Thank you. Do I have ten uh, extra camel meal, or have I planted those in the garden? Oh, uh, we have one. <laughs> I think I, I think I planted the, some of those though. Let's look down here. Nothing there. Oh yeah, I did. Okay. I was gonna say, man, I thought I planted a bunch of that stuff. Yeah, we got this. All right. Are you guys ready to plant? You are. Okay, let's grab these grapple plant. And we'll put those in the garden. And these we're going to uh, create some more seeds for. What did I just do? Pull the wrong thing down. I want you down there. Oh. How did I get this? I don't know. I'm going to plant you back again. And then we'll put these grapple, grappling... Plant thingies in. This stuff's going to go closer together than I realized. Okay, nice. So we now have sustainable grappling plant or grapple plant. What uh, what are we short on for that? I think we got. I think it's eggs, maybe that we're short on for the mushroom. That's intelligence. Three eggs and three mushrooms. We're gonna have to go farm a bunch of those vultures. All right, yeah, we got three eggs there. And three mushrooms. Okay, so we can make one more of the mushroom omelet. And by the way, I do like mushroom omelets in real life, too. Just so you know. Stay safe, she says. All right, you need to go down there. We have 20 chamomile. Do you need chamomile for the big health potions? Let's see. You do. Okay, so yeah, we definitely got to keep chamomile in stock. But we ha we can make the 10 that we need for the heal spell. Um, I need more water. More water. Let's grab that pile right there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we got those. Now, um, what we're gonna do, because I know we don't have ten lapis, we have how much do we have? We have eight. Yeah, that's not even hardly uh, a drop in the bucket there. Let's keep these here. Let's pull out ten aloe. And this is another thing I'm going to have to farm a bunch up because we need it for the big, big health kits. Okay, um, 10 sage leaves. That should be easy. We should have quite a few of those. Aloe, camo, meal, and sage. Yeah, sage leaves. Okay. So we just have to go farm up a bunch of lapis. And then we can make that heal spell. 
Okay, good. Now, for the acid bite, the eternal acid bite, I've never really used this light burst spell that much. I, I mean, I've tried it, and I haven't been super impressed with it. But, um, so this is going to require more glass. We're going to have to farm up some sulfur. We're going to have to go kill some more uh, monster mushrooms. I'm sure I have 20 poison sacks that we've collected. Because I haven't really used them for anything since the start of the, this playthrough. So we probably got a bunch of those. Yeah, we got 40. Okay, so we got the poison sacks we need. Um, let's grab the ammonia and this. Ah, uh, shit. You know what? I forgot the quantities. Was it 20 or 40? Here, let's, let's pin this one now. I just want to kind of get everything, you know, queued up. Okay, we got 39 bricks there. Um, how much? Uh, we need 10 charcoal. Okay, so let's go split stack. There's our 10 charcoal. Uh, the glass that we're currently making is for the alchemist stuff, so we're not going to include the glass in this. Okay, so we'll, we'll put this stuff up here. So we got the charcoal. We need 20 of these. And the poison and some of the ammonia glands. We're going to need 20 of those in total. So we have 47 bricks. I did. Was it 40 or 50 that we needed? Oh, it's only 40. Okay, good, good. Very good. All right, so we need 10 bronze bars and 5 clay, which I just burned up. There's no getting around it. We're going to have to go mine some clay. That's just all there is to it, man. Okay. And let's put you down here. Um, On the camo meal, I want to re... Redo the seeds there. Uh, let's see where is that. That's more up. It's right there. Okay, so that's just water and chamomile. All right, so we have those seedlings going. What? Did you want for the large... Oh, we got... Oh, look at that. We got new sets. But these this shit's going to be expensive, though. <clears throat> because it's going to want padding. And uh, that's actually what we're going to do in this episode later on. Is we're going to go after the loom. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Um, Big health portion. Yeah, I think we have everything. Oh, no, we need the laboratory, right. But we're working on that. We're working on that. But we need... We're going to need to go get the clay, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think that's all we can do at the moment. Let's just check everybody else. See if anything else unlocked. We got some new arrows, but we don't really care about those. Tanning station. That's all hunter and... Archer stuff, wall decorations. All right, what about you? Nomad Highlands key. Okay, so we got the giant bones to make that. Ectoplasm soup. Damage against hollow, life leaf chance. But you lose 50 health. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to consider that. We'll have to consider that. Ectoplasm gem. A crypt. Crypt lights. Skull themed lights. Sometimes dead is better. Sometimes dead is better, huh? Okay, if you say so, dude. All right, you got the new uh, storage for us. Um, and I think the best glider 
we got to go get that ourselves, which we'll do at some point. Just see what else he's got here. This He's got most of the decorative stuff in the game. Secret doors. We can make a... Oh, oh, good. Okay, we can make the water well now. We'll keep that in mind. Not something we need immediately. He can also make glass for us if we have shards. That's interesting. And you... Oh, here's what I was going to show you guys. We could either... Shield of Light. This thing is really badass looking. And because we need luminous growth to make it, I wonder if it, it actually acts as a light. Soldier Shield. 17 block. So they both have the same block, but this one has more parry. Or um, if we go to wards, he can make us the ethereal plane, which gives us shroud resistance. Um, and it's a little bit better level than what we have now. And that's easy to make. I think we're going to do this. I, we're going to stick with these the wards instead of the actual shields just because, you know, we're a caster, so it kind of fits our character. So we need two iron, a lapis, and... Did I? Oh, I just pinned it, didn't I? Yeah, and three charcoal. Okay, so let's go ahead and split this. Grab the three charcoal. We should have another thingy of iron. Oh, no, we got the glass. Uh, we need to make more glass, though, now because of the uh, the, the uh, acid bite spell we want to do. You know what? Let's just throw a shit ton of sand in there and make a bunch of glass. Yeah, because sand is super easy to get. Um, but I do have some iron in here. We have eight bars, so we need two. And one lapis. Alright, I'm just going to stick this glass in here for now. All right, so our current ghostly shield is six block at level 15 with fire resistance. This is nine block with shroud resistance, and it's level 25. Um, I mean, how many enemies in this game actually damage us with fire anyways versus how many damage us with shroud? Like, a whole lot more, right? Um, I mean, gosh, I can't even think off the top of my head who does damage us with fire. Or what does. Uh, I'm sure there's probably something. I just can't think of it at the moment. Alright. I think we needed honey. Um, chamomile. Which we have six of. Oh jeez. I can't remember. The rest of the. Huge magic potion. Or uh, health potions. This one. Here. Let's pin this one now. Yeah, it's aloe. That's what we're missing. And I should have a bunch of alchemical base in here. Yeah, we got 48. Nice. So we only have six chamomile at the moment, so let's just grab six aloe. We'll put this in here and... Why I'm doing that instead of just deleting it, I don't know. I can't answer that question. Except for I hate deleting stuff. Like that. Most, oh, shit. That's right. we got to do the laboratory first. We were going to make this earlier, and I didn't because we needed the laboratory, and I completely forgot. Can't take me anywhere. All right. Well, let's put you in there and you. I'll put the alchemical base back in its place. And let's put this water in here now, too. We do need to start thinking about upgrading the flame fairly soon, too, but that's not something we need to do immediately. All right. 
right, so you... Just check to see if she has anything new. She's got these spice teas now, but we don't really need that. This will come in handy when we can get the next... Oh, right, okay, fertilized farm soil, that's good. But we have to make nitrate and a scarecrow. Good luck. Thank you. All right, guys, well, I guess I'm going to have to go off and farm up some clay, which we'll get in rebel wood. We got a big batch of peppers out there, but I think I'm going to leave those there for now because uh, we don't need them right now. Are these ready to plant, though? Because if they are, I'd like to get them in the soil. Yes, they are. The, um, what are the main ingredients for the pita pocket? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, the only thing there we can grow in the garden, of course, is mushrooms, but I've got so many mushrooms right at the moment that I'll probably wait until we get down to, like, the last stack before I start worrying about planting those. So I'm going to throw these in the soil, and then I'm going to go get a bunch of clay, and then we'll come back and we'll make our alchemy station. And after we do that, then I think we're going to try and go after the loom. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time. I'd say at least an hour and a half, maybe, in real life, in maybe one to two in-game days. Just farming up a whole bunch of stuff. So we should have everything now that we need uh, to make our eternal healing spell and our eternal acid spell. Let's grab all of that stuff there. And this was what we were saving up to make the Athnor, Athnor, whatever the thingy is that we need to make the alchemy station. Um, yeah, Athnor. Uh, so we just need 10 bronze bars and five lumps of clay for that. Here, well, here, let's do the spells first so we can get our inventory, that out of our inventory. Um, eternal heal channel. Oh, we got to make the laboratory first, right, before we can do those. Okay, yeah, so let's do the laboratory then. Um, what do you need again? <laughs> My memory is just absolutely terrible, man. Uh, 10 bronze bars and 5 clay. Okay. 10 bronze bars, 5 clay. Uh, all right. Let's move those here. Split the stack to 10. And there's 6 clay. Okay. So that should give us enough to make that thing a madoodle. And then to make the laboratory, we need all of that stuff. So let's pick up the scientific instruments. How did I get that in my inventory? I don't know. Um. Oh, we need it for one of the spells, I think. Okay. Um. Why don't I just pin that? For Pete's sake, man. Why am I making things hard on myself? I don't know. Can't take me anywhere. Okay. Let's get uh, 10 copper bar. And we have 19 there. We'll split the stack. And I think that's everything we need for the alchemy station. Or the laboratory, rather. Boom. Oh. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. I'm going, why did everything just turn red? I think we're going to put this back here for now. This isn't going to be its permanent home. Um, but uh, it'll work back here for now. Okay, now, enshrouded oil. We need to make that for something. I can't remember. And we need coal powder. Yeah, I'm going to have to probably farm up some more uh, shroud juice as well. But we should now be able to make our spells. So eternal heal channel and eternal acid bite. Now, the one thing we do have to keep in mind is the eternal acid bite has a three-second cast time. But it does a hell of a lot more damage, too, so... Uh, good deal. All right. 
So we don't really need this at all anymore. Well, let's not delete it. We'll save it for no no good reason at all. <laughs> no good reason at all. Uh, we'll save this and the heal channels. This stuff I'm saving up for our flame upgrade. Uh, we need 40 of each item. Um, let me see. So strengthen the flame. Yeah, 40 sulfur, 40 saffron, 40 sparks. The sparks are going to be the big thing. And of course, we have to kill the uh, circle scythe as well. Um, I, I farmed up a bunch of lapis. I don't know if I have 40, but uh, we're working on it. So that's why I've got those particular items set aside for the moment. Um, do I have 40 lapis? I farmed up a bunch of them. We have 24. And... Thought I might have put some... Oh, no, we just burned 50 of it on that healing spell. That's what... That's right. Okay. Well, we'll put those there anyway. And that'll get us... Get us along our way. Uh, do I have 40 sulfur up there? Uh, I do. Okay, so... Let's take this sulfur then and let's cut it in half. And what else did we need to make that that stuff? Let's um Oh yeah, we need to make nitrate too. And the spices, I think we need that for one of the food items. Oh, right. We need these for the magic chest. That's right. Okay. So that means we need to make a bunch of coal powder. All right. So let's stick the sulfur in there for the moment. And um, can I pin this? No. Uh, whoops. Apparently it doesn't let you pin these recipes. So those shroud spores and shroud liquid, and then we're going to have to throw some coal. Let's grab a stack of coal in the grinder, which is currently working on flour. So let's actually switch this over to coal powder. All right, let me see what I have for shroud spores and shroud liquid. Uh, we should have a bunch of shroud spores. Oh, yeah, we've got a full stack and then some. Um, so let's just grab that full stack. Shroud liquid, on the other hand. Yeah, we don't have a lot of that, so I'm probably going to have to go farm some of that stuff up. But if we can get a couple of these started, we can get started with our magic chests. So let's pop those in there. Um, just need some coal powder now. All right, yeah, we have to wait just a little bit longer for that. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Good, good deal. We are in super good shape, man. Super good shape. So... Alright. Um, I think we're probably ready to go get the loom. Go over to East Lapis. Um, I was gonna... I was actually gonna get some aloe plant in here, but that's what I need the nitrate for. But I think the higher priority at the moment is to just get the uh, get some of those shroud oil thingies going so we can make the magic chess. Um, I had a thought, and then it just escaped me. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, let's make a an altar right now, and we'll just take it with us. Nope, flame altar. There we go. Oh, that's so nice to have these eternal spells now. Um, we're going to try this out at some point, and I'll keep some chain lightning with me for now. And we're in decent shape on our food. I made a, a whole mess of meat wraps. In fact, we have a, a couple spares of those as well. Um, so let's bring a full stack. I am going to need to start thinking fairly soon about doing some mushrooms because 
takes three mushrooms per on that. But uh, maybe we can luck out and get the the better um, recipe for that fairly soon. It's like some blue blue soup. I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's even better than the mushroom stuff. Right, let's head on over here. So East Lapis is here. Yeah, so we'll go to our little area there. I haven't actually logged out of the game since I last checked it, so that hasn't reset. There's a decent amount of aloe plants around here. It's kind of note to sell for future farming until we can, you know, start making the stuff ourselves, that is. I leveled again too, by the way, and I put those points, I, I had two points and I put one into spirit and one into intelligence. And we'll probably go ahead and do wand master too the next time we get two more points. And then we're going to flip over and work on the trickster tree because I really like um, this terror in particular. Plus we get it, uh, a, another spirit, another intelligence, and this arcane concentration. Uh, so yeah, really good stuff there. All right, let's um, head on down to East Lapis. We're going to have to be pretty careful here because these are pretty high-level dudes. And uh, we are... We're 24. Okay. Uh, we're one level away from being maxed out, I guess. So unless they change the player level in the latest update, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't heard if they had or not. Let's try Acid Bite on this guy. Of course, he's probably immune to... Poison. Yeah, it, that's a bit too long of a cast time for this creature. Okay. Eternal heal channel. And we need to buff up anyway. That guy's pretty high up in the sky. Let's do one of these. One of these. Take a grapple, a mushroom, and a pita bread. Okay. Now we're buffed. We're going to have some greenies in here. Uh, let's get Firebolt out. Lots of bugs in this place, too. Let's nuke these guys. Yeah, they're one level above us at present. Oh, shit. Die bugs. stuff up I don't remember what's in here uh, yeah I guess we'll pick up the scrap metal we've got so much scrap metal right now spooky Those aren't like uh, hidden doors, are they? Not really anything down here. Huh, okay. What about on the roof? This is a different apartment. Huh. 
All right, let's get moving here. underground bugs just getting wasted by our our power <laughs> I'm bragging about my power and he sneaks up behind us and bites us in the ass okay um, let's be let's go ice bolt here because most of the enemies are scavengers Oh, we should probably heal too. Okay. Dude. Oh, there's a greenie over there. Let's see if we can lob one over to him. Catch, buddy. We went a little too high. Try it again. You got that one. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. You just died. It's not that big of a deal. Guys whining about dying, man. I don't get I don't get criminals these days. Whoops. Yeah, I do miss that other staff because we we do run out of mana a little more more quickly with this one. Here, let's uh boost that with a small small one. Take the elixir, some explosives. What kind of nastiness do we have down here? A chest. This way. There he is. He did. All right, let's go back this way. Um, that's the building there. I believe we need to get to. Those archer guys. There he is. Excellent.
thought I still heard somebody. I do. He's right here. We got two skellies. Two scullies. Oh, there's some guys way over there. Weaver's Cottage. gonna say someone else was shooting at us. That dude. Didn't I just kill you? I did now. Lightning channel shroud. Oh shit. Enemies all over the place back here. All right, what we have to do is... Uh, I think we go up here, don't we? Remember if it's that building or this one. Sneaky. Here it is. Got an exploding bug out there. Okay, we got it. Oh, let's go ahead and head home. Unless we want to try and kill the boss here. That's a pretty hard fight, though, because there's so many ads. But if we got up on a perch, we could probably make it work. It's getting dark, though, is the other thing. Uh, and if we... If we teleport away from here now, then I've got to hoof it back here again next time, unless we can get a an altar down. Um, I think I think the boss is way uh, is up that way. Yeah. I just put this down in town here? Oh, yeah, I can. 
Well, it just said enemies are nearby, though. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's not such a good idea to put it down here. Just trying to decide uh, where we should do it, then. I'd like to do it maybe just a little bit out of town. Because thing is, I don't want to come back in on it and then get nuked. If it was just if it's just that one guy up there, we can deal with him. Um, in fact, we could probably even come back down here and set it down just out here somewhere. That's probably the safer bet. All right. I th think the carpenter should now be able to make us the hand spindle. Or the spinning wheel, rather. And uh, this makes linen faster than the, the little thing. So let's pin that. Uh, let's talk to you. Loom is retrieved. Very good. Never underestimate the thread. Place the loom. Spinning wheel. Flame barn. Carpenter knows how to make one. All right. Um... Oh, right. We needed to put coal powder in here. Okay. Let's actually move this. I want this to go right up against the wall there. We'll put you. Um, let's flip you around this way. We'll put you in this corner. And you need. F uh, oh no, you make fabric for us, right? And then the hunter makes the actual uh, padding. Right, okay. Um. So let's see, we just need, I think I might actually make two of these because they're not that expensive to make. Uh, do I have fossilized bone? I've got six, which is just enough, actually. That was fortuitous. We need four bronze bars. Five nails. All right, let's, we'll have to make some more nails, which we can do. And f four wood planks and four wood logs. Just grab both of those. Okay. That's eight, ten. That's good enough. Uh, you got to make it. All right, two spinning wheels coming up. We'll put those right one there. And one there. And you will make linen. <clears throat> now what we need to do, we're at that stage in this game where we need to plant a metric crap ton of flax <laughs> because we can now craft the high-end uh, wizard stuff. Say, sage, I think, is... What is sage? Yeah, sage is the healer set. 
Archmage is health mana, staff damage, mana regen, and Warlock is critical strike, wand damage, wand damage. Uh, it's almost like the Warlock sets maybe made more for a battle mage, so I think we'll we we'll be shooting for the Archmage set. Uh, but that's going to take some doing <laughs> to get done. But I want to do it, you know. I mean, I know we can go farm legendary chests, and we'll do some of that too. But I want to. I also want to make the crafted set too, just because I enjoy doing that. It's fun. We do it for fun, man. And that is a good enough reason. All right, guys. Um, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. And like I said, I'm going to work my little wizard ass off and get this entire, well, I don't know about the entire, but a very large portion of this field planted with flax. And um, we, also, we also have this field over here to a certain extent. Uh, you know, up to the edge of this yellow border. And I can also... <clears throat> I could also upgrade the altar with shroud cores too. Um, and if we did that, it then would extend out to this field as well. That might be worth doing. Um, if and when the time comes for us to fix up wood guard over here, we're gonna we're gonna need a whole nother altar. Because uh, there's just no way this altar is going to cover that whole area. What would it take to upgrade this to the next level? Uh, ten shroud cores. We might actually have ten shroud cores. We have sixteen. Huzzah! Shroud cores are not too difficult to get, so let's do this. All right, now let's see where the boundary is. This should have opened up probably these entire fields for us. Oh, it didn't. Wow. All right, so it didn't open up this entire field. Uh, what about over here? I have to go back to here to see the boundary. Okay, yeah, it did open this field up for us. Okay, so at least we have this field now. Um, so we have all of this field, all of this field, all of this field, and part of this field. And we can kind of... We kind of know where the boundary is if we get to this tree and we just look due east. And, you know, we could also, at some point, upgrade the altar even further. But I think it exponentially increases each time you do it. Let's take a look. Oh, no, we can't. We're at the max level. Okay. Yeah. No, well, you know what, though? There actually is one other thing we could do. Um, the only problem with doing that, though, is we'd have to come, we'd have to completely redo it again. But the back boundary probably goes over this cliff and way up over that direction. So we could move the altar further back. <sighs> um,. But that's not something I would do until I had a whole mess of shroud cores, you know, saved up so I could re-upgrade everything. But it is an option for us, you know, something to think about. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Not sure what we'll do in the next episode. Uh, we still have lots of quests to, to do. we got Sun Temple. we got Beehive Smoker. And um, we, we've got, you know, two more Hollow Halls, of course, to do. And we're probably... At the point 
fairly quick here. I would think that we can take on the, the Nomad Highlands Hollow Hall. Um, that is going to be one hell of a fight for us, though, because we have. I think we have to kill like three or four bosses in there uh, with lots of adds. But you know, we are stronger now than we were when we did Revel with two. So, but I think I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to get our Archmage set crafted first, and or you know find the really high end pieces in the uh, you know in the legendary chest before we take on before we take that on and then you know when the time comes for us to do the kindle wood I, I don't even want to think about that right now <laughs> that's gonna be crazy so uh but yeah that is it for this episode so thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye